Even if you're not a fish lover, this fish will just blow your mind. And all you want to do is get some tilapia, any white fish really, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then you want to grind some parsley and garlic, rub that on top, some diced tomatoes and onion. The extra garlic is just optional, get in with those hands. And then I get some fried crispy onions, just give them a crush and then just top it, a little bit of lemon juice, and then we bake it. And then you end up with something like this. Like I said, this fish will blow your mind. Let's make some halibut. I'm gonna start off by cutting this beautiful filet into some gorgeous steaks. From there, truff oil, magical stuff, so pop your pinky and pour it up. A dab will do ya. Gonna make sure it's smothered and covered and my rub baby got butter. Once the flavor's packing and never lacking, into the stargazer cast iron. The pan's smoking, so you know I ain't joking. Don't touch it, trying to build up a beautiful crust. Add in some butter, give him a flip, and hot diggity damn looking sexy like Lexi. Out of the pan, tossing more butter, capers, and lemon juice. Go ahead, get them plated up proper. Top them off with that sauce like a boss. Pinky popping and fancy like Nancy. Absolutely official. Like a rep with a whistle, baby. Cooked perfectly, and no joke, respectfully, these were bussin'. Bang, bang, flavor gang. Grilled tilapia is on the menu. Let's start by making a simple marinade, starting with some chopped basil, the juice of one lemon, the zest from about a half a lemon, two or three cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons of capers, some freshly cracked black pepper, kosher salt and a squirt of avocado oil. Mix it all together and set aside about two or three tablespoons worth. Take the rest of the marinade and pour it all over your tilapia, making sure it's nicely coated. The fish then goes on a hot grill, direct heat. Make sure you oil up your grates to make that flip easy. This will cook pretty quick, about two minutes on each side. Flip it over, look how good that looks. Those awesome grill marks. This will be delicious. When it's ready, pull it from the grill and take your reserved marinade and pour it all over that grilled tilapia. Smells unbelievable. Look at that fish, so tasty, so flaky. Dinner is ready. Chilean sea bass is my absolute favorite fish on the planet. When I order it at a restaurant, I pay $50 for the plate. I bought these two chunky fillets at Costco for 40 bucks. Whisk together soy sauce, water, ginger, garlic, brown sugar, honey, and cornstarch until it thickens. Let it cool and then use it as a marinade for the fish along with some scallions. Leave it alone for at least an hour in your fridge. Sear the bass in a pan on all of its sides. Then brush it with some of the leftover teriyaki. Bake for 15 minutes at 425. This is the flakiest, yummiest fish you're ever going to get. Love your life. Let's make spicy tuna. Start by cubing and mixing one pound of sushi grade tuna. Next, you're gonna make your sauce with mayo, sriracha, soy sauce, sesame oil, and a pinch of sugar. Mix well to combine and pour over your tuna. Finish off with green onions, serve with a rice bowl or on crispy rice. Let's make some fish tacos using seasonings that came from Texas. Two cups of flour, and for all my Texans people, Fiesta is a super sister store. And a teaspoon of the following, cumin, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and seasoned salt. Mineral water and beer. Half of each. You're gonna love this recipe. Mix. Chicken bouillon. Some mustard. Should be this thick. Cut your fish. Add more mustard to the fish. Or the chipotle sauce. Mayo, crema, and chipotle. And some lime juice. Whisk until smooth. Transfer your fish in the batter. Now let's fry. Five minutes and you drain. Let's hit tortillas. Chipotle sauce. Add your fish. Add some cabbage. Red onion with habanero. Cilantro. More chipotle sauce, beautiful! Limon. Cheer to all my Texas people. Mmm. This is how you can make some great tasting codfish or any kind of white fish for that matter. All I did was lay my fish on top of a parchment paper, smear some garlic, salt, dill, orange zest, orange slices, Put another piece of parchment on top, fold to the corners until you get all the way around, until you create it like a bag. Bake it at 10 to 12 minutes for 350, and it's really easy, tastes fantastic. Let me show you guys how to make the best fish and chips ever. Peep this crunch.
Beautiful codfish filet here. Time to season both sides, lemon pepper. We got garlic plus, two tablespoons of celery salt. You don't season your fish, your fish is gonna be nice and plain. Batter time, first coating, two cups of plain white flour. Second coating, two cups of plain white flour. Two, craft beer, not craft, craft beer. Going in, if it's out I'm for you guys, club soda or soda water will do. Beat your batter in, dredging process, plain white flour. Beer batter. I know oil here heating for about 20 minutes after 20 minutes sticking in chopstick once you see beautiful bubbles bubbling up. All's ready. Dunk it in for five seconds. One, four, five. Let it swim. Cooking time for that. Six to eight minutes. Order 69. Your fish and chip is up, my god. Are you a lemon type of person? Right on it. Oh. Powder sauce? Open up. Let me slide this one in. Peep this crunch. Ah. Keep this crunch. You know, I was craving fish and chips today. Potatoes again. Crispy fish and chips. I gotta dry off my bass of fish here. We use any fish you guys want. Seasoning salt on both sides. Wet bear includes two beers, two cups of flour, one tablespoon of seasoning salt. Mix that in into a plain white flour here. Shake off any excess into our beer batter here. Shake off any excess into the pool for about 10 to 12 minutes till golden crispy. You got heaven right there, my G. Damn. Order 69. Your order's up, my G. Oh, my.